guys, welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Listen, you clicked on this video because you want to know more about understanding. Did you really make love to the narcissist or did the narcissist truly make love to you? Especially if you guys were in what you thought maybe was a committed relationship, a long-term relationship. When you guys were together and that per and the narcissist was saying I love you and you were saying I love you to the narcissist Were you guys truly making love when you guys were? You know Doing the nasty so at the end of the day This is how I broke it down to try to understand it. if you're new to my page I used to be in an 18 years narcissistic abusive relationship It's been two years now that my ex narcissist has now got a new supply and you know, I've been celibate working on myself. Listen, at the end of the day, this is what I realized. Is at the end of the day, can someone truly, ask yourself this question, can someone truly make love to you if they don't know how to give love to themselves and if they truly don't know the embodiment of giving love, sharing love, because you don't give love away, you share it, share love with you. Based on the narcissist's actions, were they giving, sharing love with you? If they were lying to you, manipulating you, cheating on you, disrespecting you, how could they have made love to you? Ask yourself that question. And the reason why I wanted to talk about this, because this is something that I had to really look inward and come to the realization now that I started to embody and understand the true meaning of love. Because there's a lot of people out there that don't understand the true meaning of love, but yet they want to throw the love word all around willy-nilly. This is why when you're in a relationship with a narcissist, they'll always say, I love you, I, I, I love you so much, and they don't know what love is. Because if they knew what love is, love is Love is basically you embodying all of what God is, right? Kind, caring, um, honest, peace, faith, you know, all these, these high vibrational emotions, right? That you embody that. Respect, honesty, loyalty, right? These are all things that work around you loving being able to embody love so there's a lot of people out there that are throwing around the word love even ourselves we could say that we love somebody else but it's you you're not understanding you are love you can't give something away that you already are right you share it you share your love that you have with inside of yourself when you're tuned in and tapped in to the love with inside self so understand this, a narcissist now has a personality disorder who, where they departmentalize their emotions to not feel those certain emotions of empathy, kindness, loyalty, all these type of emotions that really embody love. So how could they have loved you or how could they have made love to you if they they're not tuned in to, and tapped into the love within inside themselves and it's the same thing for us as victims if we allowed somebody to disrespect us lie to us cheat on us you know do all these negative things picture it as you were doing that to, allowing that to yourself so you weren't really embodying the love within inside of yourself so really and truly, both of you guys were just, they say that if you're not making love, right? All you're doing is, if you're not sharing your love and making love with that person, all you're doing is really rubbing each other's body friction against each other that is causing pleasure and exchanging each other's energy. That's all that is, right? What do you do if you're by yourself and you're masturbating? You're causing friction on yourself without anybody else and you're not exchanging any energy. But when you're doing it with somebody else, you guys are exchanging energies and you guys are basically rubbing against each other because there's no connection. There's no emotional connection because you're not emotionally connected to yourself and that person's not emotionally connected to themselves for you guys to then make love and share, lo share that love through the lovemaking. So I hope 
that this breaks it down for you guys to help you guys to understand the harsh reality is is you are not making you are not sharing love and making love with the narcissist when you guys were having you know what right so I just want to break that down to help you guys to understand that so then you're not caught up in those moments of when you think about the narcissist and oh we used to make love and it used to be so great yeah in your eyes you know you thought that you were making love with somebody that you loved and you cared about but really and truly that person does not embody love because of the fact that they choose not to through their personality disorder right by not feeling the emotions that embodies love and it's the same thing with you you know us as the victims we need to relearn after what love truly is for ourselves because that's how it works right i educated myself that's how love works you embody love and then you vibrate and you share love so if you're not embodying the the emotions that create love with inside self then you truly don't love yourself and you can't sh you can't share your love with somebody else because you're not tuned in and tapped into that love with inside yourself to understand it and a lot of us if we want to be completely honest with ourselves as as people who experience narcissistic abuse they come inside of our lives to teach us valuable lessons of self to tune back in and tap back in to that love that God created us with from the get-go. So I always like to tell people, life did not happen to you with the narcissist. Life happened for you. It's always happening for you. This whole life that we live in is to teach us valuable lessons of self so that we can, we can tune back in and tap back in to who God created us to be. Love. Loving beings. Because... God is within all of us, but we are not tuned in and tapped into the God within inside of ourselves because we're so distracted with our ego or the outside world, right? Us who experience narcissistic abuse have those emotions. We just need to tune back in and you know, tap back into those emotions to embody the love within. And that's why these narcissists come inside of our lives to teach us that, right? So harsh reality is, is you guys, I had to realize it. I had to break it down. We really did not make love with the narcissist. We really were just having, you know what? Because at the end of the day, for us to, us as people who experience narcissistic abuse, to allow somebody to do that to us, we didn't, we are not tuned in and tapped into a love with inside ourselves. And that narcissist is not tuned in and tapped into love with inside themselves either because of their personality disorder, right? And they don't want to. So when you hear a narcissist saying, I want to make love to you and that's bullshit, don't believe them because at the end of the day, they're not embodying the love with inside themselves. So keep that in mind if you're still with the narcissist or you're reminiscing about the love making that you used to make with the narcissist. Keep learning these things to wise up and rise up inside of your life because the more you educate yourself on what you experience with the narcissist is the more you're going to be able to again become wiser to rise up inside of your life to let them go and be able to move on and move forward with a healthier healthier version of yourself because you're taking all that knowledge and you're putting it inward to work on yourself to become the best damn version of yourself Thank you so much for tuning in. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know what your comments are. I really, really appreciate you guys. Let's get it and keep becoming the best damn version of ourselves for us, not the narcissist.